morning, good morning, good morning. So many uh, good and powerful words. Thank God for life. Thank God for life and strength. Um, this morning, my verse comes from the book of Exodus. Still reading this book of Exodus, still in the story of Moses. And um, it's Exodus 7, 6 through 9 that says, So Moses and Aaron did just as the Lord had commanded them. Moses was 80 years old, and Aaron was 83 when they made their demands to Pharaoh. Then the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Pharaoh will demand, show me a miracle. When he does this, say to Aaron, take your staff and throw it down in front of Pharaoh, and it will become a serpent. And today, I'm just grateful for, I'm grateful for, for all the errands in my life. You know, I'm, 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 I'm grateful for the people that God has put inside my life who are here to support me, who don't care about recognition or who don't care about the parts on the back, who just genuinely have come into my life to help me. Um, in, this particular, in this particular part of this story, and it is so, it's, that's why I always tell you all this book is a living word, because no matter how many times I've read this story, like, Aaron has never stood out to me, you know, like, and, and when you think about it, like, okay, so Aaron was actually Moses' older brother, right? And like all through, every time you hear a story of Moses, like, you know, not many people mention Aaron and all of this, but Aaron was a very important, Aaron actually did the, the work, like the initial work, because he was the one that was doing all the talking, you know, he was the one that. Um, because Moses had given up his, it, I wouldn't say his right to, because he still could have, but Moses had basically told God that, hey, man, listen, I know you gave me the assignment, but, like, I can't do it. You know, I'm not comfortable doing it. So God told him, hey, your brother, you know, call your brother Aaron. You know, he, 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 he'll help you. I know he will. And so said, so done. You know, Aaron stepped up to the plate. And, you know, he, he could have been the one to say, you know, he wants to be the leader of the pack and he wanted to take the reign and, you know, don't worry, but Moses and, you know, but he didn't. That could, because that isn't what a brother does. He was his brother's keeper, you know, and it just made me think about it, like, because it's so important for us to think about this lesson on both sides of the fence, right? It's so good to have errands in your life. But it's more important for you to be an Aaron in somebody else's life. You know, God gave us two commandments, just two. Love God and love each other. And we daily, 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 we have the opportunity to help our friends. And even if you don't know if they need help, it's okay to pick up your phone and say, Hey, you all right? You know, you need help with something? Hey, man, I, I have a little extra. This, you know? This, I don't know if you need it or not, but, you know, see it right here. Because you never know, because sometimes, you know, we, as humans, we bottle up a lot of things, right? And we keep a lot of things inside us. And one of the things that we, as Christians as well, too, is that we get caught up in this whole thing that, hey, God can do it for me. I don't need to go and ask nobody. God can do it. But sometimes what God wants you to do is ask somebody because he, the person is who he put the blessing to for you. Your blessing sometimes sitting writing people on. And your pride, what isn't of God, have you sitting down here not receiving your blessing because you, you, you made a decision that, oh, I don't want to ask them for that. Oh, I don't want them to think I broke. Oh, I don't want them to think I don't have it. When the whole time they sitting right there with a blessing, given to them from God because God had provided an heir into your life but you didn't have the courage to say hey I need help I need help so I want to encourage everyone if you have an heir in your life be grateful and be thankful and pray over their life and if you're an heir in someone else's life be that person be a brother and your sister's keeper cover them daily in prayer Cover their family daily in prayer. The ones who you know use a godparent to be a good godparent to them. Check for them. 
watch out for them, look out for them. Sometimes our blessings is be wrapped right up inside somebody else's life. And the only thing we have to do is untangle their life to get our blessing. So I'm Gary. Thank you again for the opportunity to speak. And I relinquish my life. My mic. Love you guys.